This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today we are decorating a dorm room at Foxbury Institute for a gamer. I originally was kind of thinking an esports gamer, but that kind of evolved into somebody that's more into void critters and is in school because their parents want them to be, but they're just really having fun playing games, probably streaming over on Twitch or whatever the Sims version of that would be. So they have like a big desk set up over here. They've got lights coming at them. And I know we have the streaming setup that came with Get Famous, but I didn't like the way it looked. So we kind of made our own. So it's not functional in that same way, but I thought for storytelling purposes, it would be kind of cool. So this sim has a lot of simoleons coming in from mom and dad, and uh, they're not really using it on school like they should be. They're using it on games, and I think it's kind of a fun idea because I can relate. I can definitely relate. When I was in school, I didn't really want to be working on stuff. A lot of the time, I just wanted to chill, and not everyone knows what they want to do in school, and I feel like maybe this sim is like kind of making a career for themselves in that realm of work doing like streaming and stuff and their parents don't think of it as a real job and they're like you need to go to school and do something with your life but they're not really that into it so they're just kind of doing their own thing so that's kind of the idea I was going for but of course like this could be for any sim that likes gaming I thought it was kind of a fun idea so that's what we're doing here today and this is my first build that I'm doing once I have the pack at home and so I have all of the other packs to use with it as well which has been really really fun I actually haven't had much time to play the game since it came out or since I got access to it a couple of days ago. So this is really the only thing I've done so far. So if you guys have any more suggestions, I know I've been asking this in the last couple of videos and I've collected some cool ideas. But of course, if you guys have anything else you'd like to see, let me know. I'm looking forward to spending my weekend playing university. I'm very excited. I also should be editing my vlog of Sims Camp and hopefully getting that out this weekend as well if you're interested in seeing that. But anyway... I really wanted to use this little cork board here, but I feel like it just didn't fit. And at this point I was thinking maybe this is room for two Sims, but I got rid of that idea in the end. And this person does have a double bed, you know, like you're using some of the money your parents gave you if you're bringing your own bed and it's a double bed. I mean, it's kind of an old like rundown bed, but still, I feel like that's just from how much uh, this Sim is just lounging and playing video games. It's honestly the best is curling up in bed and playing video games. I love that so much. Or on the couch, like a comfy couch. I know I've been doing that a lot lately. Staying up way too late, curled up on the couch, playing Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm having a blast with that game. And uh, I, I only do it in like little bursts though. I think I'm only on the eighth floor. So <laughs> it's been a fun time though. I don't know if any of you guys uh, play that game or who has a Switch, but I love that game. It, I remember hearing about it years ago when it got announced that it was in the making and I was like, yes, I was so excited. But anyway, uh, back to the storm. It does use a lot of black in it because I just thought that looked nice and fit with the various decorations I wanted to put. So we're using a lot of Void Critter posters which we got from a lot of packs. We have one from Kids Room stuff. We got one with University. We have one from Parenthood. There's Void Critters everywhere. Plus there's a new Void Critter little statue thing that we got with University. So I made sure to put that on the desk as well. Just Void Critters galore. I mean, we all love Pokemon. So well, not everyone, but like, I love that that's basically the same as version of Pokemon. And I think that's really cu cute. And actually that just made me think. There's a community voted stuff pack thing going on starting next week. And one of the versions that I wasn't as interested in said something about a Void Critter locator. So I think that's like Pokemon Go in the game, if that's what the vote is for. But I think I'm personally all in favor of arts and crafts, which I'm so excited for another community voted stuff pack. Last time we got Laundry Day, which was amazing. Probably my favorite stuff pack to date. So it's really cool that they're doing this again. It went over very well last time, both with the community and it ended up being like one of the best selling stuff packs. So it makes sense that they're doing it again. And uh, I can link down below the blog post about it. If you're just hearing about this for the first time and you want to check it out, there's five different ones we can vote on. And then there's a list of features under each one. Those are not all going to be in the pack. Those are just some that we can vote on, like which we prefer. And one will definitely be in the pack. And then if they have assets based on what gets voted on, it's possible there could be more, but 
only guaranteed one. So that's that. I'm probably going to vote for arts and crafts, but I'm also very intrigued by happy haunts, which kind of the reason for that is one of the things you can vote on is the possibility to have a career as the Grim Reaper. That intrigues me so much. I want to live as the Grim Reaper. That sounds so fun. But I think in my everyday gameplay, I would use the arts and crafts more. And I would also really enjoy that for building. So I think that's the one I'm going to vote for. But let me know what you guys are thinking as far as the community stuff pack goes. Uh, like what you think you're going to vote for. If this is the first time you're hearing about it, go check out that link. I'm very excited. Uh, that's what they announced in Max's Monthly this month. So that was pretty cool. But anyway, back to the dorm room. I'm just adding a bunch of clutter and stuff around, trying to figure it out. And I have the red shelf back. The red shelf has been fixed. I know I was getting a lot of comments over the past couple of days about it crashing people's games. And um, they updated it now. So you can go ahead and download that. Although I know some people, myself included, downloaded the new one and it was still crashing their game. So I had to go into Sims 4 Studio and delete a bunch of slots off of the shelf and then it works. So you might have to do that as well. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I still really, really love this new desk chair that came with this pack. And uh, the dorms are really cool. I think I, it's weird because like, I like the style of the Fox very more modern aesthetic more. But I like the campus of Brightchester more. So I don't know how I feel <laughs> about that. But uh, probably going to still do a mixture of dorms. And this weekend, I'm hoping to do not a dorm, like some kind of other building using the pack and everything else in game. I really want to build like some bigger places, maybe some community lots for the campus, as well as probably some homes not in this world that use some of the new wallpapers and items we got, as well as the new update for columns, like multi-story columns. I'm so excited about that. So Lots of ideas up my sleeve, so very excited to spend the weekend building. Finally going to have time. This week has been crazy between, like, working all week, uploading my Sims Kim stuff, plus my dog has been sick all week, so I just haven't had time until now to sit down and play the game. So this weekend should be nice. It should be a nice break to just chill and play The Sims, which is definitely my favorite thing in the world to do, so I'm very excited about that. But now that university is out worldwide, what are you guys thinking of the pack? Are you enjoying it? Let me know what you guys think about that down below as well. I'm glad that it's finally out. It's November 15th and everyone can play the game. I'm loving this expansion pack so far and I've barely even touched gameplay still. I'm really hoping I can find time to do that this weekend as well. But I feel like it's up there in my top few favorite expansion packs. Like it's got to be. Seasons hands down my favorite. This might be my second though. I think University might be my second favorite expansion pack. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's fantastic and I don't think it was in my tops in The Sims 3. So I think that's saying something. But anyway, I'm adding lots of posters. I wanted to use all the gaming posters. Plus we got these posters of energy drinks, which I think is kind of cute and very realistic for both college and for gaming energy drinks four days so liked adding that and then these little chairs over in front of the windows they're like sectionals I quite enjoyed that as well and also if you're wondering where the pizza boxes came from those are in debug I think they're base game but I thought it'd be kind of cool to add those around they'll probably get smelly after a while but I thought it was kind of realistic to have a bunch of pizza boxes around the dorm room as well I know it's kind of unrealistic to have a double bed in a dorm room but I know some people do it have you guys ever been to somebody's dorm or I'm sure you saw pictures online of somebody that's like fully decked out their dorm room like this. This one's a bit messy, but it's still like got all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't normally have in a dorm room or more stuff than you would normally. So just curious on that. I, I feel like, like I said, the Sim probably is using their parents' money to kind of have exactly what they want because their parents just really want them to go to school and quote unquote do something with their lives which I think is kind of rude but you know they probably have the best intentions at heart and that's fine plus it'll be kind of fun to have the college experience meet more people there's an esports team on campus I imagine the sim is probably going to join that and be part of it so I think that'd be kind of fun 
I actually really want to explore more of that. I'm pretty sure it's just a rabbit hole, but I still like little events and things like that. I think they're really fun. And uh, yeah, I also love the corkboard whiteboard that I have hanging by the door. I just think it's such a cute item and I feel like I'm going to use it a lot. <laughs> kind of like I use the one from Parenthood a lot. I think that's a really cool item. Granted, the one from Parenthood is functional. I don't think this one is, but I could be wrong on that. But anyway, we're just going to add a couple last finishing touches here and then we'll be going on to screenshots. If you guys would like to download this off the gallery, it should be up there now. The information for that is down below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.